Danny had been studying for a master's in architecture for the past semester in Rome. I remember I was at work walking through the factory. I own a company called Sidekicks. We manufacture athletic shoes. I couldn't wait to see the kid. My daughter had been studying abroad, been flying for 11 hours. I'm not wild about her being in the air. You have kids, Juan, you understand. It's, it's better when they're on the ground. I've always been a concerned parent. What do you mean different? Oh. Um... Annie. Hi, Dad. Hey! hey. Oh. <laughs> God, I missed you. You look all lit up inside. Oh, I feel all lit up inside. <laughs> Maybe we should go to Rome for a few months, huh? Oh, you two would love it. It's the most romantic place on earth. You smell pretty good, too. Oh, you like it? It's a present. Doesn't she look incredible? I almost didn't recognize her. Come on, dinner's on the stove. I met somebody in Rome. Um, he's an American. Uh, he's from L.A., actually, and um, his name's Brian McKenzie, and he's this completely wonderful, wonderful, amazing man. And, well, we, we started seeing each other a lot, and um, we fell in love. <laughs> it actually happened. <laughs> and uh, we've decided to get married, which means that what? I'm engaged. <laughs> I'm engaged. I'm getting married. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my, my. <laughs> oh, so, oh, my. And that's your engagement ring, huh? Yes, yes. We got it at a flea market outside of Rome. The guy we bought it from said it was at least 100 years old. Wow. So, Dad, stop it. Say something. I'm sorry, what did you say? Dad, I met a man in Rome, and he's wonderful and brilliant, and we're getting married. 